How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Python programming, uh, Python challenge video. I'm your host, Root of the Null, and today we're moving on to challenge number seven. Uh, in the last tutorial, we just got through challenge number six. We got thrown into our new challenge with the oxygen URL, and here we are. We're staring at this, uh, this page with just an image and uh, nothing else here. Uh, let's do some investigation like we always do. Let's view the page source, and... Uh, Again, there's pretty much nothing here. We got uh, got our image file, oxygen.png, and that's about it. <laughs> um, don't really know what to do or where to move on from here, but I mean, I guess I guess let's try it. Uh, I'm thinking if all we've got handed to us is an image, we're probably well, I mean, since we're working with Python, right, we're probably going to end up using the Python image library. Um, if you're on Windows like I am, you might need to install that. Uh, I, I already did install it on, my, on, my, on the one that I'm working on right now. So I've got my text editor open, and uh, I'll just do a, do a shebang line and get, like, a, a good thing going. I'll just save this on my desktop. Um, what is this? 7? Seven? 7.py. Yeah, and C drive Python 2.7. Okay. And uh, let's get this image, actually, because if we're going to try and manipulate it, we should download it. Um, I'm going to right-click it and click Save Image As. I'm just going to bring it to my desktop. Okay. So it's right in the same uh, location and place as my script over here. Um... You guys know we could have just downloaded it with URL lib in Python. That's kind of a cool Pythonic way to do it, but, I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to do that. If not, you can look at my URL lib tutorials, and anyway, we're just going to move on. I'm going to go ahead and import the image library, and uh, what we'll do is we'll say um, oxygen. I guess we can create a, a variable to actually hold the image when we open it up. Image.open. And we, the file name that it saved us was oxygen.png. So now if I, uh, if I print out oxygen, what do we get here? Okay, yep, we do got this image here. Oh, hey. PNG image, PNG image, mode equals RGBA, size. Okay, cool. So it tells us the size here. Let's actually save that, because we, we might need to go through it. Width, actually, size equals width and height, which equal... 629 and 95. Okay, that's, that's fine. Oh, got a random N character in here. Okay, so we got our oxygen thing, and uh, here we go. There's our image. Um, you know what? I'm gonna open it up in Paint. Uh, here I got I've got the image here. Open with Paint because I want to be able to explore a little bit more of it. I'll bring this down so you guys can see it. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. It looks like... I mean, okay, there's... Duh, there's pretty obviously like this band of gray blocks here. Over a bank? Some river? <laughs> but anyway, the, the, the gray blocks are probably what we're going to be focusing on. Um... I wonder. Okay, so they're all they're all black, right? They're all variations of gray or black and they don't get they don't get that close to white. So I'm thinking cuz you know if if you have the the RGB values, here I'll get sublime text back over. If you've got RGB values, they're in this triplet sort of thing with like their representation for red, their representation for green and then uh their representation for for representation for blue, right? So if you got them all black, like black is simply the absence of color, zero, 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 and white is the uh, entirety of color, two five five, two five five, two five five. So, if you're getting a variation of black or a, a shade of gray or a shade of white, it's the values R, G, and B are all going to be the same number, but it's in between two five five and zero. Um, zero and two five five anyway. So, but anyway, like I said, they're all going to be the same number. The same number. Okay, I'll use I'll use a number sign. Number, number, number. So 
I kind of wonder if, like, that that number is going to represent some text. Like, if we, if we pass it to the character function in Python, I wonder if it'll, like, ASCII will give us a value. Let's play with it. Um, so if we wanted to get to that, let's look at our paint. Um, we know in, in uh, image, in the image library that we've got in Python, there is a, a get pixel function. And I mean, I've shown you this, I think, in um, my other uh, image library module tutorial series. So we can use, uh, we can pass in a tuple or a tuple here with x and y coordinates to actually get the color values at a certain pixel. So if we're trying to go through it here, what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna need the coordinates of each of these blocks. So, let's see. The y coordinates, okay, anywhere inside the block. So, I'm looking down here, right, right here where my mouse cursor is. You can see paint is uh, showing us the coordinates of the of the mouse right now. It looks like okay, 47 or 48. 48 gets us in the pixel, gets us in the block. So, okay, let's say y can equal 48. That's fine. And our x value, that's what's going to change. You see all these different blocks here. We're going to want to get somewhere inside one of them. So 0, okay, that will work just fine. We'll start at 0. And then we'll move to get to the next block. So I think this one has a size of what? Okay, 5 to get to a new one. So 10 should be the next one. Well, now I'm at 10, but I'm, I'm at 10, but I'm still on this block. So that doesn't work for us. Uh... Looks like the next block starts at 12. If you guys can see these colors, I know, I know it's all gray, <laughs> just slightly darker versions of gray. But the next one starts at 19. So, what if we went for increments of six? Six gets me to 12. That works for us. But then I get to 18. I'm still in this block, so that doesn't work. Let's try seven. So start at 0, go to 7, I'm in the other block, add 7, go to 14, I'm in the other block, add 7, go to 21, in the other block, add 7, go to 28, in the other block, okay, 35, that works for us. Yeah, increments of 7 work for us. Let's try it. So if we're going to loop through every single one of these, we need a for loop and we're counting for x values. Let's say... For x in range of um, 0, start at 0, and we're going to go all the way to the very end of the picture. Oh, actually, it looks like the, the blocks stop here, right? Let's go, what is this, 607? Yeah, 607 is the very last one. Let's say end equals 607. And step can equal 7, is what we said earlier. So, yeah, step. And, uh... So now what we'll do... Is we can just print out the character form of... Oxygen.getPixel. Because, uh, that's the handle that's holding our file, you know? So, Oxygen.getPixel at x and y. x is going to change while we have set to 48. So let's try this. Control B. No, an integer is required. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what this is doing... Uh, check it out. If we run this, we get all of these different values for, uh, you know... And like I said, the... R, G, and B values, red, green, and blue values, are all going to be the same because we're looking at um, variations of gray or variations of black and white. So we can choose any of these, red, green, or blue. We can just index it with uh, with 0 or 1 or 2. And let's just use 0. And that will get us, okay, one of the values. So now we'll change this to a character. And I'm just going to add a comma here so it doesn't print new lines every time. And let's run it. Oh! <laughs> Check this out. 
Smart guy, you made it. The next level is 105, 110, 116. Ooh, okay. Damn it. Now we have to go through the same thing. Or converting these values to, uh, you know, text. With our chr function in Python. So, what I'm going to do is actually set up a new string. Set it to equal nothing. And I'm just going to say new string plus equals this. And then at the end of it, print out new string. So now, remove the comma at the end there so we don't. it doesn't think it's a tuple. So now, okay, so now there's no spaces. Smart guy, you made it to the next level is this. I'm going to copy this output. And I'm going to create a to change equals this. Okay, so now for item in to change, um, let's, I'm going to comment out our loop here. And I'm going to say new string plus equals character item. So now, <laughs> all right, integrity. So what this did is it went through each and every item inside this two change array that we got from our original loop, which reading these pixels from the image file that we were given at the at the at the prompt at the page here, you know. So, and then it changes them all to characters. That's awesome. Now, uh, <laughs> looks like our next one is integrity. Let's go. Let's do it. So, in our URL bar, change oxygen to integrity. Hit enter. <laughs> and yeah, all right, awesome. Challenge number eight, guys. Sweet, we did it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I hope you liked this one. I hope it was kind of cool and fun to follow through with. I really like that we were able to use the oxygen. Uh, sorry, not the oxygen. <laughs> I'm just rem I'm reading the title here. I really like that we were able to use the image library to like look through this file. That's kind of cool. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.